stamp this place some amazing basic rhythm and then clinch positioning in her fight against Alma Junico. So we start off, Alma punches forward and she overextends and this is an example of Stamp's clinch positioning. She immediately pushes the face and starts working her position in the clinch. It's very similar to BJJ where you want dominant position. She presses up against the face and controls the dominant position. There's a break and immediately Stamp goes into this basic rhythm, shifting her weight back and forth this opens up the timing and it allows to, her to see what's going on she lands a body kick as Junico rushes in and immediately goes back into that basic rhythm bang the right hand ties up in the clinch and again this dominant battle for position she scores on the open side repositions and scores again it's very important to know where the open side is uh, she stalls the referee is right there and they break so you'll see again that she's getting knee in the open side there junico rhythm steps and Stamp is able to attack. She wraps up in the clinch. And again, we're going to see her knee into this open side, that open side of the body. Junico trying to block, but she's unable to, as Stamp has control in the clinch. Again, the referee breakage. And we're going to see Stamp go into that basic rhythm, shifting her weight back and forth. That allows her to neutralize Junico as she rushes in. She sways back and immediately counters with that big right hand. Again, a sway back and counter. And it's because she has this basic foundation of rhythm. Just able to see Juniku as Juniku rushes forward. The sway back and then the counter. There overextends on the punch. The sway back and bang. And immediately moves into the clinch with a big scoring knee to the back. She digs her body into Junico, which is going to exhaust effort on the Australian's part. And she uses her rhythm to move back in time. And she counters with the right hand, something we see her again do again and again. And here is more of that rhythm. They're chopping the leg very quickly. And again, clinching up and obtaining dominant position. There's a beautiful knee up the middle. She stalled and then realized she was able to go to the head. Then on the exit, she punches out. Very, very smart work from Stamp. Again, punching out, trying to tie up the hands. We see that basic rhythm there, the big overhand right. Again, that basic hit rhythm and counters with the lead hand and right kick. Then see Juniku rhythm steps and resets. That gives Stamp more time to decide what she's going to do and how she's going to attack. She, this is a great example, blocking the spinning back elbow and then kneeing to the open side and then leaning heavy on Juniku, uh, which is going to exhaust her and show dominant position to the judges. We're already 30 seconds left in the round. She uses a jab to slow up. Juniku lands the elbow. Then you see her tying up, immediately positioning in the clinch. She knows this isn't like a great position, so she stalls. The referee breaks them. She knows that there's not a lot of time left in the round. So again, she wraps up in the clinch and gets that dominant back position. Again, similar to BJJ where you want the person's back. She understands the clock is running out and backs away.